you understand um, what uh, type of temperature I'm accustomed to now living out in Los Angeles. 71 degrees in here right now. In here, it is climate-controlled in here. Mm -hmm. It is definitely climate-controlled in here. Beautiful. Now, you called, if I'm not mistaken, the outdoor playoff game between the Vikings and the Seahawks that was in the temperatures that we're walking around in right now, right? Two years ago. We're staying at a hotel downtown, and I knew it was going to be cold, but I woke up. The game started at noon, so I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I look across the alleyway to a building with a time and temperature sign on top of it. Yes. 7 o'clock in the morning, it said minus 21. Oh. I didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> so I started getting dressed at 7 o'clock. Wow. It was, I think, minus 4 at game time, but fortunately, yes. there was no wind. I mean... Hardy Souls in Minnesota. Of course, the, the place is packed. That's when they're building this, and we had to play that game at the University of Minnesota Stadium, and that's the game that Blair Walsh missed the field goal Indeed. at the end of the game in. Uh, and we had a shot. Dresikoff punched up a shot, our director, uh, as the sun was beginning to go get low in the sky at around 3 o'clock. I remember this, yeah. And you saw a breath from like 10,000 people in the end Silhouettes, and it, it was remarkable. Like Jupiter. It was incredible. It, really did. it was incredible. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.